hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to call one decision table from another decision table okay so i am just going to create one decision table first okay now there is no branch i am as usually using uh, my sbi class sba loan car loan class and the loan <clears throat> amount check so okay i am going to create this one this is my first decision table so here as usually uh, loan amount uh, loan amount uh, save and the return value first if the loan amount is 1000 my conditions are uh, loan amount is 2000 my condition another condition is loan amount is 3000 okay now here i just want to return value is if loan amount is 1000 i am return the gold value if the loan amount is uh, uh, silver value and here if the loan amount is 3000 uh, then i have to call then i have to call another decision table from here i want to call another decision table here i don't want to return a value directly so from here i want to call another decision table now see here you cannot call there is no option here you cannot call there is no option here see that's why only in the return here in the return itself if you want to call another decision table you can just use and you can mention the another decision table now what i am doing here i want to create a one more decision table okay now the name check name check if the loan amount is i show you sbi loan and here again car loan click on create and open so here uh first name just i am checking with the name if first name equal to suresh then return value you are a branch customer again if first name equal to ramesh and again here you are you are a diamond customer that's it or else else you are normal customer okay just click on save just click on save now uh, now i am calling this decision table my from my decision table here i am using call uh, name check call name check just click on save just click on save and before that also you must enable some settings here in the results tab in the results tab allowed build expressions allowed return value so you must enable this allowed build expression and allowed return values all these things uh, should be checked now come back to here now try to understand first thing is if the loan amount is 1000 then you will get a return value gold if the loan amount is 2000 you will get a well return value 2000 silver if the loan amount is 3000 uh, now i am calling a one more decision table i am because i don't want to return a value directly and the loan amount is 3000 i have to i have to do one more check 
I have to do one more check. So again here call name check. So from here from written value from written option I am calling one more registration table name check. Here if the first name is uh, Suresh that means if the loan amount is 3000 and first name equal to Suresh etc. If the loan amount is 3000 and first name equal to Ramesh etc. Why because I don't want to enable here itself. I don't want to enable here itself because when the loan amount is 3000 then only I want to perform some additional checks in such a scenarios and these calling from one decision table from another decision table will be useful. Now just run this one actions click on run first loan amount is 1000 the return value is gold okay if the loan amount is 2000 the return value is as usually silver but if the loan amount is 3000 see what happened when you click on run again now it will call another decision table name check it will call another decision table name check here again in the name check so it is asking for the input value first name it is asking for the input value first name now here the first name equal to Suresh and click on run again see this one you will get a value you are a branch customer you are a branch customer so like this um, like this uh, you can call one decision table from another decision table in the written options in the actions written in the actions written okay thank you